Hey everybody, this is Chris and I thought I'd record maybe a couple of videos just like this talking head uh, so I can kind of talk about some of my um, experiences and my ideas, especially about learning Chinese. I know a lot of people have been following this channel for quite a while and I'm back now. So yeah, I thought I'd do a video just looking back at my journey learning Chinese and also talk about whether it's still worth it. So yeah, first of all, I wanted to talk about some of the reasons why I started learning Chinese all those years ago, because actually it's been about 18 years now, uh, which is a cr almost 18 years, which is a crazy amount of time. And I never really thought I would be learning Chinese for that long. And in fact, right now, I don't consider that I'm actually learning. I, I Even though my learning is continuing because I use Chinese in my everyday life, in my job. My wife is Chinese. My I've got two like half Chinese kids and um, I use it every day, but I'm, I'm a, like a lifetime learner, you could say. But anyway, so, but I decided to learn Chinese when I was at school, probably when I was about 17 years old. I'm now like, uh, at the time of making this video, 36. And at that time I was choosing what to study at university and I, I'd always been good at studying languages, right? Um, so I wanted to study a language at university and I wanted to choose a subject that I hadn't study before, new new language, new experience, uh, you get to travel abroad and so on. Um, and I actually chose Chinese because at that time I was, I was thinking about choosing Arabic as well. Um, but then my my mom said that, you know, the, the Middle East wasn't that safe at that time. And then I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with it. Uh, and at that time, China was actually a rising economy that the it had just been awarded the 2008 Olympics, I think. And there was there were a lot of newspaper articles and reports about China. It, it seemed like, an, you know, an upcoming up and coming area and a big challenge. And I was I always wanted to learn languages. So I decided to learn Chinese. So I think actually going to university and have, doing it like as a formal course actually really helped me a lot to have that structure in the beginning. Um, but I mean, for me, it's been worth it. Um, I've been able to use Chinese in a lot of my jobs. I've, I've, um, I've taught in China. I have worked in a tech company in China. I've been both a, a written translator and an interpreter, including simultaneous interpreter and consecutive interpreter. So I've used it in a, a, a variety of different jobs. I've also uh, started a business in China. I've had a business partner in China, um, worked in a, a variety of different companies, both state companies and private companies. So I've had a lot of experiences. Um, however, I've pretty much built my career around speaking Chinese and uh, speaking different languages. Languages. So for me, it's been worth it, but I don't think it would be exactly the same for everybody. So I think if you if you're thinking about the ROI of learning a language in general, and then maybe also the ROI of learning Chinese, I think because Chinese takes a lot longer than European languages for if you already speak English to learn. I would say that you you can't think about it that way because it's always going to take a long time. And it, if you're thinking about how much money or time you spend, it's going to be difficult to make that back in a short space of time. So it's always going to be like an interest thing. I, that's the way I see it. It's always going to be a labor of love um, that you're interested in Chinese culture. You have some connection with the country. Maybe you want to travel there. Maybe you want to do something there, but you're not expecting to necessarily do it all in Chinese. If that's you, then I think it's definitely worth in Chinese, worth starting to learn Chinese. If you're interested in languages, if you want, if you're interested in tra the culture, traveling to the country, maybe you have a partner who speaks Mandarin or you wish you did. Right, or you want to find one who does, then obviously it's going to be worth it. Even if you're not going to be speaking Chinese to each other, you will be able to use that language and then have so much more of a connection. That would definitely make it worth it. Um, if you are a student, if I was starting now again as a student and choosing um, my university subject, I probably, I don't know whether I would choose to study just Chinese. Um, I think for me, I might consider it, but for a lot of people, I would probably recommend doing, uh, if you're interested in languages, either do a language with another subject, for example, marketing or international business or international relations or something like that. Have another string to your bow and then have Chinese as like an extra on top of that in your degree or 
uh, you can actually study something completely different, like engineering or whatever you're interested in, and then just study Chinese online in your spare time. I think it's much easier to do that. There's, there's a lot more resources than there were when I first started learning Chinese. I think it's become much easier to do that. As long if you're a disciplined person and it's something that you could keep up, then that that would be like a really killer way to to build like a great background, but to have like a professional qualification or subject and also have that language skill at the same time. That would be amazing. So um, more people are starting to learn Chinese online now. I think for students, it's also a great thing to have on your CV, even if you're not, let's say, fluent, um, you would have the option of studying in China in the future. Um, it's, it can be quite inexpensive to study at Chinese uh, universities. There are a lot of scholarships, I think, still to study at Chinese universities for foreign students, uh, even for living costs, not just the, the, um, the costs of uh, your tuition fees. But you also have to think about like how, how worth it it is. I wouldn't do like my whole undergraduate degree in China and then come back to the UK because I don't think it would be so so recognized or so valuable doing that. If, if it, I think maybe to have that option to do it like maybe a master's or some study abroad time or a language course in China could be really good. It's a good way to experience the company as well. I think it used in terms of like going to China to teach it used to be super easy to just go to teach English in China. You could do it like kind of as, as a gap year or as uh, just a, a break in your working life. But I think it's still possible. However, the barriers are a little bit higher and there's a little bit more paperwork probably than there was before. If you if you're um, if you've just got a job teaching in China or something, let me know in the comments what it's like now. I, I get a feeling it's a little bit more difficult. And uh, since COVID, a lot of people have left, but there could be more opportunities now. For if you're a business person, is it worth learning Chinese? I would thinking back at the the business people I know who I've might maybe have interpreted for in China. I think that it does make a difference to know some Chinese. You can like chit chat. You can get along with people so much better if you know a bit of the language. But I think it, and also it maybe would stop you getting cheated or ripped off when you go to China. You'd be able to read some things, be more clued up in, in, in tune with the environment. But I think if you are in business and you are doing something completely different and you're a professional in another area, unless you have another strong motivation or interest in the language, you don't need to become like super fluent in Chinese or go to that level. Because I don't think you're going to get the AI. You're not going to get your money back for the time or necessarily the 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 money that you invested. Um, you can always get interpreters or local facilitators who can help you. Um, so just to know some would be probably enough. And if you're if you're an older person, maybe you're retired. I know a lot of people watching my channel are actually um, a little bit older, and they're taking their retirement to learn some Chinese or to to learn some of the language. I think it's great. I think it's a great way to keep your brain active, to take it as a new hobby maybe, or even a travel because, uh, you know, after you're retired and you have more chance to see something of the world and, and, and uh, do that side of it. I think it's a great opportunity for, for any age. So, you know, th this is like my just, um, my very disjointed ideas, but yeah, to sum up, like, is it worth learning uh, Chinese right now in this day and age, even with translator apps and translator tools and all this AI stuff? Uh, yes, I think it is. Um, if you're interested in it and you're interested in the culture and you want to do it, uh, just go for it. Um, because I had this idea, this crazy idea, almost 18 years ago to start learning Chinese, it changed my life. And it definitely added a, a loads of interest and new experiences to my life that I wouldn't have got otherwise. Um, as well as being a challenge. There's so many uh, advantages to it. Um, but I think you should be realistic about what you want to achieve and what you can achieve and also what you need to achieve. It just goes back to what I was saying about maybe um, if, you're, if you've got another job or you're, you're in another business, you don't have to be uh, doing it um, to such a high level unless you want to become like a professional interpreter or something. But that really limits you. Um, so yeah, those are just my ideas. So yeah, just let me know. This is just like a, a video, just me riffing, me just talking to the camera. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, if you got anything else I'd like to talk about, what you think about videos like this. I hope you like my uh, my beautiful background here. Uh, not my actual house, but um, I think it looks cool. Uh, if you're learning Chinese, let me know. Like, uh, 
how long have you been learning and has it been worth it for you? Overall, what would you say? And if you had to start again right now, or if you were advising somebody else, would you say that it's worth learning Chinese? Okay, so I'd really be, be interested in your thoughts. Leave me a comment. I'll try to get back to as many people as I can. And uh, yeah, we're starting up this channel again. Let me know what kind of content you might like to see. I'm hoping to uh, use some new technologies on this channel, which is going to be really exciting. I'm hoping to, um, when I go to China, also maybe bring some real videos um, of speaking Chinese. And I've got some more surprises coming. So uh, make sure you're following the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and you've hit the notifications button. Uh, and yeah, I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.